Guys, so, uh, if you haven't seen, I just got done making a, uh, 2017 ice fishing, and I did not catch anything in the video. I did end up catching two fish at the end of the day, but I was not filming for that. I caught two little bluegill, which is not the ones you see on the plate. I put the bluegill I caught back. Um, this right here is, is nothing bad. That is something, if you guys haven't seen, uh, what, I don't know what exactly brand it is, but how they make the glue goo stuff, like how you can make slime out of glue and they make the kits, yeah. Little brother got some of that, and then my older brother decided he was going to put some on me. See, I'll show you guys. It's a sparkly. But I'm going to talk to you guys about something that i seen today that really made me mad was on my way out from ice fishing the guy that was ice fishing next to us caught two little bluegill and just chucked them on the ice and left them to die so on our way out i picked them up i found this guy first which i thought okay not i mean not the biggest bluegill not really the size i'd like to keep to eat, but it was this guy, he was probably about, no, five, six incher, which I mean, okay, picked him up, threw him in the bucket, then we got up to this guy's second hole, he found this thing, this is a little bluegill, maybe a three inch bluegill, so I picked it up, threw it in the bucket, decided, you know what, gonna do a catch and cook. Wasn't really a catch and cook, it's pretty much gonna be a clean and cook. But I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that. So I'm just gonna show you how I clean bluegill. I don't have the head cam on as you guys can see because well, it died. Otherwise I would have been filming with that. You guys would have seen me catch my fish, but here we go. You just start with a cut to the back side of the um, gill the gill bone like that right there and you take your knife and you run it all the way up the fish's back and then now comes the harder part of cleaning the fish out. Ta-da, that is a fillet from a little six-inch bluegill. Uh, it still has the skin on the one side, so we're going to have to take care of that. But there's a fillet. Normally with fish this small, I would just uh oh, what the heck is it called? <sighs> Skill 'em. No, that's not what it's called. Scale 'em. I just descale 'em. And call it good, but for the sake of the video. And because, I mean, I need to get my filleting skills better. Got a little baby fillet from Baby Bluegill.
Right, son. Blue girl skin. There's the baby, baby blue girl. That one's gonna be fun. This, I think, is actually a sunfish. And this is a little blue girl, but. I mean, no need to get technical with the names and stuff. Just. Free fish, why not catch them? Or why not? Why not keep them? But. And then there were two other guys out. Or not two other guys. There was a whole bunch of people. There were four people crammed into there. Now, I'm sorry I didn't do an ice check thing again for you guys. Seems like you guys really like that. But. There was six inches out on Barnes Lake. Um, and actually there was people out spearing, dark cow spearing, with, um, wood stove inside of their, uh, little spearing hut, which I think is absolutely crazy to do, but, I mean, whatever, get your freaking heart beating, I guess. My heart would be a little bit more beaten with only six inches of ice and a wood stove inside your shanty. And I mean, that it was a complete, full going wood stove. There was smoke coming out the chimney. They went left to go freaking uh, buy wood. I mean, these guys were like flat out just crazy, if you ask me. Now they went and they were spearing, and they ended up spearing um, a bowfin, which is also, you guys might know it as a dogfish, or a burbot, I think is another name for it, but um, they speared one of them, which is an invasive species that the DNRs do not want, and they speared themselves a nice pike. Which I I had a tip about and didn't catch anything, sadly, because I've never eaten pike. I mean, my dad always told me that they didn't taste good and that the fact that they had a lot of bones, he never really took me out to catch them. But I've been told that they're trash fish. I was also told that bass are trash fish, which is a complete lie. Because bass is a very tasty fish. Oh, I messed up that play. But. Just because over half that play is over here on this side.
And then just remember, guys, um, always respect your whatever game you're going after. Always respect it. If you, if it's not big enough, throw it back. And none of these swallowed a hook or anything. It was just the guy being ignorant. So, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with this going, that guy threw away this fish, and like they always say, another man's trash is another, or one man's trash is another man's treasure, it goes the same way if you find a deer, fresh deer that gets hit in the side of the room, pick it up, eat it. So, I also messed up on that side, but that's okay, we got two little fish fillets, now you guys will see the cooking of that video, or of this video, right? Alright guys, this is uh, the cooking. Now, as I was breading the two fillets, I kind of dropped one into the trash, which is me with one good floured up fillet, which one's better than none, I guess. But, oh, I'll show you guys once the oil gets hot enough to start cooking, so. Sounds like I can start about right now. Oh yeah. Let's go. So while that's frying on that side, we'll come over here, grab a fork and so we can flip it or a spoon so we can flip it. So once it's time to flip. Turned out pretty good, the looks of it. One more flip. Come over here, grab a little. Actually, no, no. Yeah, I guess we will. Grab this little Hello Kitty plate. Throw that there. And grab this guy. And Smells real good. There it is. It smells really nice. So here we go. We're gonna try and eat it. It's pretty good. Oh. 
Well, I'll see you guys in the next video.